In this tutorial, I will show how to use JavaScript in Helium Scraper to extract the meta elements from a list of sites. I have this list of blogs, from which I'd like to extract all the meta elements and the document title. First, I'll create a global, which I will call Extract Page. Here I will place the extraction logic that will extract from each page. So I'll go ahead and add an extract action. I'll use the first column to extract the URL of the current page. So I'll call it URL and use the gather URL action. Next, I'll add another column which I'll call title. Here I will use the browser, a val script action which runs a read-only script on the page. That is, a script that doesn't change the state of the page. If we wanted to change the state of the page, such as clicking a button or interacting with it on any way, we'd use a browser run script action instead. Here, I need to put a script that gets the title, so I'll expand the scripting category, right-click scripts and select create script. I'll call this script title. I'll also open up the log and place it down here. This way, I can log anything using the global log function. Or by returning a value, since a script is the body of a JavaScript function. To get the title element, all I need to do is use the document, get elements by tag name JavaScript function and get the first element. And to get the actual title, I'll get the inner text property of the title element. Since a script represents the body of a JavaScript function that is called by the eval script action, I'll return the inner text of the title, and press save. As the script here, I will select script title to run this script. And as the argument, I will pause zero, since we won't be using it. When a script returns a string, such as in this case, this string becomes the output value of the eval script action. If this string represented a JSON object, the JSON parsing feature could be used to generate and populate a matching set of tables, but that'll be the subject of another video. To be safe, in case a page doesn't have a title, I'll wrap this in a try, catch statement and return an empty string if anything fails. Now I'll visit a sample blog on the main browser. And run this on the main browser to see the result on the log, represented as a JSON object. Now I want to extract from the meta elements, both their name and content. Since there may be many meta elements per page, I'll extract this into a separate table, by using another extract action. First, I'll add a script which I will call meta. Then I'll add a new column, and also call it meta. And as its value, I'll add a browser eval script action. As the script, I will select the meta script I just created, and pass zero as the argument, since we won't be using it. Here, I will use the document get elements by tag name function to get all the meta elements. Then I'll wrap this into an array by using the array from function and return this array so that the script returns an array of HTML elements. When a script returns an array of HTML elements, such as in this case, the eval script action selects each of the elements in this array and every action below runs in each of these elements, which in this case will be each of the meta elements. So here, I will add another extract action, and call the first column name. And for the value, I'll use a gather attribute action to get the name attribute of the meta element. Then I'll add another column, which I will call content, and gather the content attribute. Note, again, that this extract action will run for each meta element, since the script is returning an array of HTML elements. 
Now I will run this on the browser to see what we get. I see that some of these meta elements don't have a name, but I only care about the ones that do have a name. So I'll filter out the ones that don't on my script by using the filter JavaScript function. Now let's run it on the browser again to see what we get. Finally, since I want to run this on each page, let's first go back to the list of blogs. Now, on my main global, I will select load URL from the wizard to load the current page. Then I'll select navigate and create a selector that selects each of the links to the blogs, to visit each of these blogs. Finally, I'll add the extract page global we created previously. Before I start the extraction, I'll set it to block images to make the extraction faster. Now, let's start running the main global on the off-screen browsers. Note that pages are being loaded on separate off-screen browsers. And data is going into the main table set, where one table contains the URLs and titles and the other table contains the meta information. We can now join both tables using the join tables command. Or export the data to an XML file. This will allow us to see the full data as a single, hierarchical document, without any repeated elements. <laughs>